not too deep. Right there. Oh man, it's crumbling. I've got to drag my stuff around here. I just changed my GoPro battery, so I need to adjust my belt a little bit. Right there. Really crumbly here. Right there. Oh, that's a clean ball. Right there. It's another weedy. No. I just found a weedy right there, right next to that. Yeah. Get all the crumbles. See that? No crumbles, man. Flip it right back over. No mess, man. I kind of saw like two targets were in there, but there's a lot of iron in this yard here. I've dis discriminated up pretty high, so like to, to a 12. I think I found. I think I found four quarters like right around that area back there. I haven't even got there yet this time. Ooh, it's squeaking now. Oh, I just, I was next to my shovel. That's why I was hitting up kind of weird. Kind of sounded junky. Oh, it's dark soil. That's good. Dark soil's coming out. Oop. What's that? It's a razor blade. These things sound so good, man. These razor blades. That hardened steel, man. It sounds so good. a little bit deeper here. Oh yeah, come on. Oh yeah. So I gotta be really careful when I put my shovel down that I don't get dirt over there. So I, that's why I like about the shovel. You don't get a lot of, of junk on your shovel when you dig your pug. Because I, I, I'm, in, I'm in a permission right now, so I, I gotta be really clean, right? Inside wall. Right there. Oh, I see a coin ball. Yep. Another coin. All the crumbles. Go right back in the hole. All right. Super clean, man. See that? No evidence. If I were to get another target inside that plug right there, I would come back later on because I want to let that heal up a little bit. I don't want to make a mess, right? That's how you preserve permissions, not making a mess, you know? Junk. It's a nail. Last time I was here, I had to grid this, this, that front area. I found a silver and quite a bit of relics. A lot of weedies. But if you make a mess, you know, they can just come out and say, hey, you're making a mess. I don't want you digging here anymore. You know, it takes years of experience to know that. It's 
pull tab right there. It's a ring pull. But if you can learn that, if you can learn how to make plugs really clean, like this little bit of dirt right here goes right back in the hole. See, just wipe it off. If you can make make clean plugs, you'll be able to keep your permissions for a lot longer. Because, and you don't want to hit a permission like two days in a row. Like this front yard right here is so crumbly right now. I don't want to come back next week. I'll come back in like three weeks. If, if weather's permitting, you know, if it's too muddy, if it's too wet, I won't come to this permission. Oh, this one sounds deep and it sounds junky. Just give me a few different tones there. Oh boy, it's crumbly. Oh man. Oh man. I think it fell back down the hole there. Nope, it did not. Where in the heck is the target at? Oh, it's shallow. It's junk. Spin this around here so I don't make a big mess. More of a mess that I already made. Right now. Dude, this ground is crummy today, man. Oh man, it's really crummy. It's not junk. It is some jewelry. It's an earring. And jewelry does that a lot. You know, it sounds like a deep target. No matter how big the jewelry is, it's just kind of a weird thing. You know, jewelry sounds like it's really deep. Especially the smaller jewelry. The smaller jewelry sounds like it's really deep. And I dig a big hole, and most of the time, I make a little bit of a mess with, with jewelry. It's, it's kind of hard to find. And it does look like silver. No, this is, I think it's a key. It's a key um, cover for a lock or something. Maybe for like a gas cap or something. I'm not really sure. That's kind of what it looks like there. I don't know if my camera's the right angle, but it's a rivet in it. This little latch there. Oh, oh look at that. Fell down my sheath. It's happened to me before. I've had coins fall down on my sheath and they're hard to get. But with my sheath being open on the bottom, it's really easy to get stuff out. You know, my sheath is clean, you know. No dirt in it because it has an open bottom on it, you know. I designed that sheath myself. Mm. What do you guys think that is? I think it's junk. I think it's gonna be junk. Right on the surface. Because it's screaming, man. the surface too maybe out an inch and a half deep right there right there right there oh it's really mossy right here so it's gonna be crumbly Ooh, crumbly crumbly inch and a half deep right there it's a ball cap see that Ooh, a little bit of dirt I'll just put that dirt in my bag Here. This target's kind of weird. 
it's, I think it's another wildcat. I think it's a coin actually. Ooh, oh man, the ground is so crumbly right here. This moss, man. I can step on the I can step on the, the plug there and compact it just a little bit before I flip it out. Because if not, it'll just fall apart when I pull it out. But it's gonna make a mess no matter what what anyway. Because it's gonna fall apart. Oh, man. It's gonna make a big mess. Oh come on, what do we got going on there? Relics shallow, come on. Yellow relics. Come on, man. Take some of this dirt. Throw it right back in there. Just gotta be careful. This clumpy ground, man, makes a mess really easy. Come on, baby. It's a coin. Right there. A dime, cloud dime. It's a silver. Yep, it's a silver. 1950, 19, 1949 silver coin. Right there. Shallow, see? My other coin was shallow too. And that is the first silver coin with my dais. Right there, baby. I've had the dais for about two and a half months, and that's that's pretty long. Um, for finding a silver for me for most machines I find a lot of silver and I've been using this um, another silver in the bag this machine um, it's a really good machine. I'm, I'm not saying that it's a bad machine that I haven't found any silver but it's taken me so long to find the settings that I want to use for most of the time and that's what you want to find you you want to get when you get a detector you want to get, find that mode that sweet spot i've been talking about that in my videos the last videos you want to find that sweet spot that that certain setting or that certain mode that you feel comfortable with and you can you find the most uh good stuff with um even the most junk stuff with too um you can have a, a mode that you're clearing out the junk and then you can put it in a different mode and have a different setting and get deeper in the ground there and get the relics, you know. This one was pretty shallow, that silver dime was pretty shallow. And the other one that I dug with my amphibio last year um, in the front yard here was pretty shallow too. And the, the, the dais is an excellent machine. I love the tones on the, the, the dais. Um, the adjustability and the settings um, are fairly complicated. Um, to most other machines, you know, if you are a beginner user, um, uh, if you're a novice user or a beginner, um, the Deus is probably not the machine for you. Um, I've I have about probably about 200 hours on the Deus now, and I've I've struggled I struggled a little bit at first, um, knowing which mode I want to I want to be in. And just this last week, you know, this is my second month. And um, I haven't released the, the, the dais a lot, and that's my first silver. You know, with the simplex, you know, I, I have my simplex in the truck there, and I was going to use my simplex, but I, I really wanted to, to get some silver today, and I was going to go to a permission, um, or not not a permission, but a, a, an easement um, for the city here, a median that I don't think anybody's hit ever, and I was going to use my simplex, but I just drove past this lady's house, and I remembered, oh, you know what? I want to get some silver today. I want, I want to get some silver with my dais. So what are the best chances that I have to get silver? Probably in this permission right here because I was only here for about an hour and, and I got a silver and a bunch of relics. And I already got some relics here today too, um, just in the 40 minutes that I've been here. And a silver coin. So yay, my first silver with the dais. Um, um, it's, it's been long and waiting, you know, um, but you know, silver is not everything. I want to, I want to be able to uh, really fine-tune this machine so I can uh, really go just about in most spots the simplex can and uh, get out the same stuff you know but this is a high frequency coil here um, I, I only brought my dais with my 9 inch and my simplex with the sp28 coil um, today because I was wanted to head over over that other place um, just like I said but my first silver with the, with the uh, dais thank you for watching please subscribe